Scouting future superstars is surprisingly easy in the game. On today's show, I'll explain how I do it so easily. If you've been following me on Twitch, you'll now be familiar with how loaded my scouting center reports are with potential wonder kids. Let's break down how that was possible in future shows. I'll also show you how I turn my hot Nugents into phenomenal players. My name is Daljit. Welcome to Buster Man. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button to stay in touch for more videos like this. First thing you need to do, get familiar with ScreenFlow. This adds a new page in between news items and will pop up whenever a competition is underway. Choose the relevant competitions you want to track. Once you see some outstanding results, scout the teams. You'll even get detailed player and team information. This saves you from going to the World Tab and taking a few more steps. Once you see a specific match, you can either drill into the game or you can just scout the whole team. Identify specific players and create a note. Now whenever they pop up in your scouting center, they'll have a small yellow dot over their name indicating that you are tracking them. Second thing you need to do is to ensure you have the right number of scouts. Naturally, this is a challenge for smaller clubs, but you can still do this smart. Always make sure you have at least one scout available for ad hoc scouting assignments. Otherwise, identify your favorite countries, then assign scouts on an ongoing basis. Yes, do not rotate them between countries. The logic is simple. You want one scout based in that country and he'll feed you with information whenever a young hot talent appears. Choose scouts with local knowledge and high adaptability. These scouts will save you time. Next, define your assignments. When you send the scout, ensure that you specify an age range and give him baseline attributes to filter. I always choose natural fitness and determination. This assures me that I get players with decent determination and those that can last at least 45 minutes. Natural fitness does go up over time. However, I tend to avoid players who are lower than 10. Finally, if you're the sort of player that likes things really super easy, then add media description to your player custom search. Whenever there is a wonder kit, it will say so in the media description, provided you have at least some scouting knowledge of the player. It's an easy way to track players who have been scouted and who might have fallen through the cracks. In future shows, I'll show you the most effective way of training a young player and giving him explosive growth. All youth players with good potential will show fantastic growth when they are young. It's natural. What you really want is consistency over the next few years, until they are at least 23. How do I turn them into superstars? That's on a future episode. I hope you enjoyed this short little episode on scouting superstars. Join me for the next show. Thanks for watching, stay healthy and thanks for your continued support. If you have any questions, don't forget to follow me on YouTube, Twitter and if you want more help, I'm always eager to help you out on Twitch. Till next time, bye bye Okay, you want overlapping, beautiful overlaps, guaranteed to work, white midfielder. Why? No nonsense, keeps the ball. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to keep the ball slowly through here. But if we, so the first option is kick the ball. Boom. Sometimes we work the ball slowly. The ball goes one, two, maybe comes to the wing back. The wing back is on overlap. So he's he's closer to the roaming playmaker. So these three guys can have, have an option. So we get a combination going here.